check out my fancy new clothes. We got hide armor on, so this will have a better armor rating than the thatch armor we were wearing, the whatever it's called. We'll call it thatch, the fiber armor. That's what it's called. But I can't overheat in this, so it just depends on where we're at on the map. I might have to take some of this off if we start getting too hot. Today we're flying. I got everything I needed for Terry's saddle, and we are going to leave this place and go search for a new place to live at and build an actual base that'll look semi-cool, maybe. For now, we say goodbye to Scott. Scott, we'll come back for you one day, I promise. And we gotta get all the stuff that's out of him anyway. So yeah, I guess definitely I'll come back for you, Scott. Yeah, I promise. I promise. But for now, let's ride. Yeah, so this is great because now we're safe up here. Nothing can get us up here in the air. The only problem is stamina. But off to search for greener pastures. Let's go. I want to build next to a body of water. So this is a potential location right here. That would be pretty good. That way we can uh, always have water next to our base. Fish, stuff like that. Sticking to the beach is usually a pretty good idea because it's not as dangerous on the beach. Danger is sort of my middle name, so let's keep going. Also, danger is not my middle name, but we're still going to keep going. I'm trying to remember if this uh, pteranodon can pick up uh, things or not. Let's see. There's a little dodo in front of me. Yeah, it can pick up small things, it looks like. We got a dodo. Kind of. It's kind of behind us. Ooh, look at this area. We got a waterfall right next to a giant mountain, which has got some cool animals. I will definitely want to be taming, but that also means the cool and scary dangerous animals can come down here. Uh, but I could probably clear all this out right here. This looks really flat. This would be a great place to build. You want to find flat stuff because this game is terrible when you're building. You know what? I think we found our spot. I like it. It looks nice over here. So I've got to get started with clearing out the land. Oh, yeah. I see a T-Rex across the way and a bunch of raptors. Yeah, this place is going to be wild to live in. Let's do it. So what I'm doing is I got to clear out all of these rocks out of the way. If I had an Anki or a Diplo something or another, that would help. You know, the roly-poly dinosaurs. But uh, unless we see one around here, I don't have one. So we'll just do it by hand. All right, the area's cleared out enough. And now I'm going to start laying down some stone foundations and we'll see how this build goes. It would be really cool is if this giant Baranosaurus and the Diplodocus stuck inside of him would go away while I'm trying to build. They keep tail whipping me. They keep getting in my way. It's driving me crazy. Get out of here. That being said, I'd take either one of those guys visiting me over a T-Rex or a Giga or that Carno I see that's coming. There's a Carno coming. Hang on. Let's see if we can take out this Carno. It's your first fight, Terry. Get him. Oh, he's already running from you, Terry. You got him hurt. You got him hurt. Keep spinning. Do the spin attack. Yeah. Peck him. Oh, I'm stuck underneath him. That's bad. Pretty sure I saw that it's a level 60. A formidable opponent. But no match for Terry. Get him, Terry. There you go. Dinner served. Nice job, Terry. Eat him. There you go. All right. So now we won't have a Carno show up in the middle of my build. Anyways, back to building. Can Terry pick up a raptor? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this area is going to be wild. It's going to be a wild spot to live in. I can already tell that. Here comes another Carno. Got two raptors and a Carno attacking. They'll pay. They'll pay. Oh, the raptor, or the uh, Carno's got a bleed attack. Look at my bird. It's just pumping out blood. Oh, that is violent. All right, one raptor down. Both raptors down. All right, easy. Now we just got to take out this Carno. Maybe we can get the Brontosaurus and the Diplodocus to help us out. We just go between the legs like this. And make it accidentally hit the Brontosaurus. Then they'll start fighting with us. Yeah, there they go. They've taken over, I think. Oh, I gotta watch my stamina. I'm out of stamina. All right, stamina break. We've almost got the Carno dead. He's right below us. And this one Diplodocus is not happy with him either. Push him. Push him with your... Oh, you're not happy with me. Maybe I hit the Diplodocus by accident. Oh, no. I knocked down that tree. I wanted to keep that tree. That tree looks so cool. You're not getting away, big man. Another dead Carno. That got out of hand. That really got out of hand. Terry, good job. And raptors and Carnos all over the place. Raptor! Stay back, Raptor. Stay back can't take on Terry. Terry don't play. 
Terry's not here to play games. Terry's here to help build houses. Get out of my face. Yeah, get him, Terry. Everything dies. So tell him this is our land now. Everything around here is dead. There you go. Good, Terry. Great, Terry. Okay, good. Getting some water. All right. You hear that, dinos? This is our land now. Belongs to me, Terry. Okay, the foundation's done. So that's good. About seven axes later, I chopped down a ton of boulders to get all this stone platform. Uh, foundations, whatever they're called. I lost my awesome tree that was right here because of a dino attack. So that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Now we gotta do some other stuff. Like adding pillars. I love adding pillars to builds. I think it makes it look so much better. So I got a lot of pillars to add. But that's what the pillars look like. Let's get to work. And now the pillars are done. So all I've got to do, well, there's a lot still to do, but I got to slap some walls and maybe, you know, you'll see. Things are coming along though. They're coming along. Quick update. Starting to get the walls up. It's looking like a house. Look, we'll have little windows. We can see what's going on outside. By the way, this build would never work if you're playing on a PVP server. But PVE, this is a great build, and I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to learn how to build this yourself, you can. You know, I couldn't help but notice, would you please get out of- I'm going to kill you as soon as I can. Mark my words. Couldn't help but notice this is starting to look an awful lot like a church. We're gonna be living in a church. Who the hell is making that noise? Hang on. Um, excuse me. It's a terror bird. These little things are great. Well, they're terrible. They're also kind of cute. And when you tame one and try to fly on it, they try so hard, but they just can't fly. We'll have to get one at some point. But for now, I'm busy. Get out of here. God. It's non-stop at this place. This is a terrible location. Do not build here. It's too late for us. We've already built too much. We can't unbuild it. Check it out. It's coming along. I got a ceiling on there and some roof pieces. This will be like the workshop that will have all of our benches and storage chest in it. And then we'll come around here. And I'm not done yet, but I got some stairs that go up and then up here. And then this will be an upstairs where we'll have like uh, the bedroom stuff, decorations, crap like that. Still got to work on the roof and finishing this top off though. But we're, I'm getting there. I'm almost done. Ooh, I just killed a raptor. And got myself a metal pike. So no more of those crappy wooden spears. Got a real weapon here. Very cool. Well, there it is. I built a barn. Or a church. <laughs> Either way, this is where we live now. And here, take a little fly around. And see how it looks. Actually, it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, for a barn church. I've got this little back porch area. I'll show you in a second. I've got big plans for it. But yeah, this is nice. This is a lot better than what we were living on at the beach. What are you running from? Oh, I see. I see. God, it never stops. It took me like four in-game days to build this because it never stops around here. It's crazy, and I love it. It's exactly what we want. Well, let's go in and see our new house, shall we? We've got some ramps here, this door. We come on in, and we'll go shut that behind us. Got some windows there. This is like an open roof. I can actually slap some roofing there. But, you know, I like it. I like it. It's fine. I can slap a roof there. It's easy to do. But uh, I think I like this look better for some reason. And then look at all this workshop space we have. We can fit everything we need in here. The refrigerators, uh, forges, smithy, fabricator, generators, lights, the whole, the works, the works. So we come back here and go out the back door. Got this nice little porch area. Maybe I'll put the cooking pot and the campfire out here. Maybe. And down here, I'm thinking we're going to just have a little two by two. Uh, greenhouse where we can grow some of the crops in the game so we can make some nice uh, soups and stuff that'll help us give us those buffs and then if we go up the stairs we've got the bedroom area and like I said I could uh, you know hang trophies on the wall display artifacts up here uh, you know the bed all that stuff can be right up here so this will be nice that is that home is where the heart is and I love it here not too worried about any dinos I tame and their safety uh, because eventually I'll get cryopods and store all my dinos in cryopods. Uh, the birds can hang out on the roof, safe up top, and uh, that'll be that. So, you know, we don't really need a dino pen. But for now, you can stay in here with me. There's plenty of room. So I've got to make the smithy, 
and a couple of forges, the mortar and pestle. I leveled up so much while building this. I've got so many things I can make right now that are really going to advance um, my character. So let's get some stuff built and then we'll go on a little adventure. All right, first order of business, we've got some forges and this is how we're going to smelt down our metal and turn it into ingots, which will be great. Put the metal in there, put some wood in there and light it up. We'll do the same thing over here to this one. I think it's every two um, metal gives you one ingot. So we're not going to get a lot of ingots from this, but enough to build our smithy. Metal's done so we can make our smithy now. Bird, stop knocking into me. Put our smithy down. Right about here we'll do. There we go. And then just look at all the stuff you can make on the smithy. There's so many different things. So you still got to learn it in the engram system, but then you can come here and build a lot of stuff. Some stuff you cannot make on your person, you have to make on a smithy. Oh, I had some metal stored on the bird. We'll take that. Plus, I noticed these smooth round stones. These usually give up a decent amount of metal. Even though you have stone tools, you can still get a good amount from them. So let's crack these guys open and try to get some metal. There's a bunch of them around here. So I should have a fair amount of metal in just a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, there's tons. And I just threw down the mortar and pestle. This is where we make our narcotics and also some gunpowder. So we'll need that eventually. I think it will stick a storage chest right here. Uh, the view's kind of horrible though. It's like living in a New York City apartment. But uh, you know, this is nice. It's a pretty view. Look, there's a waterfall over there. And raptors. Okay, I should have enough metal now. I've got 35. And what I want to do is I want to make some weapons. Melee. And here it is. The metal pickaxe and the metal hatchet. And you know what? While we're at it, we'll make a sickle as well. And I would normally make a pike right now, but we got that one off the raptors, so that worked out great. I've been dying to do something about this yard. Cut the grass. This gives us nothing but fiber. So no berries, just fiber. And I mean a lot of fiber. There, that's better. Cut the grass. So, yep, I got uh, a lot of fiber. Over uh, almost uh, 7,000 fiber. I don't think we're going to need fiber anymore. You know what else we should do, could do, and will do? Let's go into weapons, then maybe go to firearms. Is it in here? Nope. And then maybe go to ranged. And there it is. We'll upgrade to a crossbow. That's pretty much all my metal, but that's great. I mean, we've got all metal tools now. we got the hide armor, which is better than that fiber armor. And we've got ourselves a crossbow. We will now set off on an adventure. Check out that house. That's a pretty good build. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Right, we find ourselves at the notorious Carno Island, filled with predators, scorpions, T-Rexes, Carnos, raptors, most importantly, the Arge, my favorite mount in the game. This bird's fine, but the Arges are just better. They can hold more weight, they're better fighters, and most importantly, they can pick up a lot of different dinos and carry them with him. Um, and right now it's hard for me to get dinosaurs home. I don't have any cryopods and walking a dino across the map is really dangerous. And where I chose to live is kind of a dangerous place. So we definitely want an Arge to scoop up a couple of uh, must have dinosaurs I need to get my hands on. But the first step would be, would be of course to get an Arge. So let's work on getting an Arge. One must be cunning when trying to capture the Arge. I'm building a trap. There we go, trap done. So, we go, oh god, that's a T-Rex. What level is that thing? Let's see, probably terrible. Uh, 56, you know, again, once again, for this world, 56 wouldn't be terrible, but you can do better. We can do better. So we go over there, we find the perfect arch, and we annoy him with our bird, and he follows us over here. I quickly hop off the bird, I, put, I park the bird back here, and then I run here. While the arch is crossing the river, I'll get his attention. Now he's going to be mad at me, not the bird. And then I run through here... Right out the back, the yard should be right behind me. Now he's in there, and I quickly run around and shut the door. And then he's in there. Then we trank him. And that's how this trap works. Hopefully it works like that. Let's go find out. So yeah, I told you there was better. That's a 72 right there. And it's a female. 
And I kind of want to have a T-Rex army to take on the Broodmother so we can breed with the female. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that 72. Maybe we'll find something better. Maybe we won't. Oh, I hope this White Arge is a good level because that would be awesome. It's a 20. Not good. And more T-Rexes over here. A 44 and a 16. And that Arge is getting eaten and it's only like a 32 anyway, so we don't want that one. And I think there's a 44 as well. Don't want that one. Oh, a level 100 Arge. There we go. We've got a good one. All right, let's go get that level 100. Oh, that's a nice find. Which one's the 100, though? Okay, hold on. It's you. All right, come on. So we'll let it peck us. There you go. It's interested now. And we're just going to fly slowly. Gonna let my bird tank some of the hits here. We want to keep his attention. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let me make sure I've got the right one on me here. No, that's the wrong one. Let's get rid of this one. Come on. Getting a little crowded with both of you. I don't want to hit my bird. All right, we got the 12 out of there. And this one's back on us. Okay. This is what we want. How's our stamina looking? It's looking all right. We should be able to get there just fine. Yeah, come on. Give me a little peck. Got to tank some hits here. So it stays interested in us. Come on, bird. Come on. All right, so I'm going to bring my bird back here. Quickly get out my bow. And try to try, uh, try to hit this guy to get his attention. I missed. Didn't get his attention. I can get it, though. I can get him. There we go. I hit him. All right, so he should be mad at me now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now, hopefully this works as intended. Oh, God, it's coming. It's right behind me. Let me fly through here. It's in. Can I come around and do that? I shut the door. Terry's mad as hell. Let's get Terry to stop attacking. Terry, over here. Terry, stop this. Terry. Terry, listen to my whistle commands. Thank you, Terry. All right, so Terry's chill. No, nope, Terry's not chill. Terry! I should have put my bird on passive. First thing I should have done. Terry! It's just a wooden structure. You don't need to be mad about this. God. I appreciate it, Terry. Your loyalty is unquestionable. But you're on passive now. Chill out. All right, you there. You're mine. I don't have a ton of tranks. I missed like five times trying to aggravate this guy. So I got to hit all these shots. And hopefully it knocks it out. If not, I can set up a mortar and pestle and make some narcotics. Wouldn't be the hardest thing to do. And this guy shouldn't be able to break out of my wood. Uh, if this was a T-Rex and I had a similar trap, I would be worried about wood. I'd want to go with stone. This should be just fine. Yeah, go to sleep. There we go. Very nice. Now, do I have any prime meat? Because I want to add as many levels as I can to this guy. Uh, do you have any prime? You do. We were killing stuff around the house that whole time we were building. I was hoping you'd have some, and you do. Thanks. So we'll throw the prime meat in here. This guy should tame real quick. We need to make a saddle for the Arge, and I'm missing chitin. But we can get some chitin because there are scorpions, usually, all over Carno Island. So we just got to find some scorpions and kill them and get their chitin. Uh, easier said than done when there's a bunch of T-Rexes wandering about, but here we go. Here's one. Let's kill it and get that chitin. We gotta be real careful with these guys. They'll knock you out. They'll knock you unconscious. They'll knock the bird unconscious. Carno's not doing me any favors because he'll try to eat the dead body once we kill the thing. Carno's dead, though. Now it's your turn, Mr. Scorpion. And if I hop off and use my axe, I should get more. Oh, God, here comes an arch, though. Quickly, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. We got 71 chitin. We're going to need more than that, though. I took off all my clothes because it's super hot here. As indicated down on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, that giant flame means I'm actually taking damage because of how hot it is. If I had my fiber clothes still, I'd put those on. Because that would actually cool me off a little bit. But taking my clothes off is the next best thing. Where are some more? I need some more of these guys. These scorpions. Got to be a couple more around here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. Oh, good. I see some scorpions that are by themselves. I can't get those scorpions out on the beach. There's like 40 things fighting. It's too much. I can get these guys. I just got to snag my kills before the saber tooth eats them. I don't know where the other one went. Saber tooth. Get out of here. Got it. All right. How many do I have now, Chitons? 148. I need 150. I also need to collect some fiber and I need more hide. We got to kill more animals. I need two more chitin, though. Unbelievable. 
You're gonna be dead. You're dead. That should be some nice hide right there. Nothing's coming quite yet, but it will be soon. Let's get the hide. And I actually have enough chitin now, too, because they give something that's similar to chitin that'll also work as well as chitin. So we're good on chitin, actually. Raptor down. I bet my bird's got hide on it. Yeah, 31 right here. I think I need 350. I'm close. I'm real close. Come on, Terry. Kill him. One more hit. There you go, Terry. Give me that hide. No, Scorpion. It's mine. It's mine. Now, I am, I am almost dead myself because of how hot it is. That's crazy. I'm going to go in the water and cool off. It's the only way I can cool off. Oh, God. A scorpion just bit me while I was cooling off. I'm going to pass out. I've got to get somewhere away from the scorpion. This will work. Oh, God. Oh, no. If that orange right there sees me, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Terry is on passive, too, so Terry could die. I didn't set up a bed in my new house. I totally forgot. Everything is a disaster. Please don't, Arch. Please don't. Please don't. Also, I may be burning alive, too. Oh, God. Arch, don't come over here. Oh, he doesn't see us. He sees me. Oh, he sees me now. Oh, I'm about to wake up, too. Oh, get him, Bert. Terry. All right, Terry's going to distract him for a second. That's fine. So long as I don't get hit. I'm about to wake up. I'm about to wake up. Oh, I got hit. Come on, wake up. I'm so close to waking up. Wake up. Wake up. Terry, I'm coming. Woo. Whoa. That was close. That was close. Holy crap. I'm going to go back over here for a second. Recollect my thoughts. Holy shit, man. Now my Arge is doing battle with that Arge. The one in the cage. Help him out. I guess we'll help him out. That's what you get for trying to eat me. We'll let you out of the cage in a second, bud. Just trying to trying to figure everything out. Oh my god. Almost eaten alive. Alright, I was able to make the arch saddle. So we're gonna get in here and mount this guy up and we're going home. Terry, I'm gonna put you back on um on something that's not going to get me killed next time I'm knocked unconscious. So who's got a saddle? This guy. All right, comment sections. This will be the bird, the animal, the dinosaur that you will see most often during this series. I don't go anywhere without my arch. Look at this thing. So we need some name ideas down in the comments. Let's hear them. So look at these stats just starting out. 2,500 health, 2,000 stamina, which is great. It's also got 350 melee damage. So we're gonna pump movement speed and health for a while uh, because I'm pretty happy with his uh, stamina and his melee damage is okay for right now. But this guy's kind of slow to start out with, but he's gonna get pretty fast by the time I'm done with him. What another fun day on Ark. I'm going back to the base and making a bed. That way, in case I do die, I'll have a place to respawn. That was so close to being a disaster, but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, this has been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.